Okay, so here we are. We arrived safely. Well, <clears throat> me and the tractor arrived safely. Uh, that's that the seeds we threw out. They're starting to grow. <clears throat> I'm going to see how much of this gets cleared out in these next few days. I hope to clear all of this out, including the stumps. So we'll see. I know that seems like a lot, but I think it can get done. I got four and a half days solid. So let's see what happens.
pretty quick. These are the roots. They were huge. I had to chainsaw some of them. But it's a crater. But tomorrow I'll just throw those on the fire and level this off and continue. But that huge stump is gone. Thank God. These will be cake. And that one's already down, so this should be good. This should be I should see a lot of progress tomorrow considering I got here at two. I've been at this for I don't know three hours. But I'm not fooling around with the fire this time. I brought a big Bertha. Alright, bye. All right, so this thing is a freaking beast. Had to get that stump out. Look at this thing. Just like the other one. Look at the size of the roots on that. De madre. This took me probably like 35, 40 minutes. But damn, that's a crater, brother. Another crater the size of that <laughs> but that machine is the shit i love it okay day two it is 4 30 so a lot of stuff cleared what's taking the longest which i'm glad we're done with are those damn stumps huge one here and another huge one over there and then obviously the one that had all the moonshine hidden underneath i'm not even driving over that section because there's just way too much glass i don't want to puncture a tire or anything so that'll stay like that but a ton of jars we got a little stash someplace else but all in all I think it's been a pretty productive day. Pretty clear. Gotta see how the next couple days goes and eventually figure out where the handy house is going to go. What? Looks bigger, at least there's plenty of space to turn around in here. All right, that's the update. All right, Monday morning, nine o'clock, day two. <clears throat> See how much we get done. The fire's already lit, ready to get some trees down. We'll see what today brings. Okay, so a couple of trees down. <clears throat> That's two down. Take out some more stumps right there. That's where all of the uh, the moonshine bottles were. God bless. There must have been easily 50 bottles in there. So what I did was I dug a big hole about five feet deep. And I just threw all the bottles in there and crushed them. But you got to be careful here because there's still little bits and pieces everywhere. So next is these two trees and then that tree right there, that tree there, and possibly that bigger one back there. So we'll see, but it'll look different. A couple of trees more and I think we're good. I may clear a little bit on this side as well. All right. That's the morning update. All 
All right, so that's one root, one stump. That's another stump coming out. But the trees are down, cut up, and I got that stump for tomorrow as well. Cut up all these trees and burn. But today, my neighbor was nice enough to offer. I asked him where could I get some dirt, and he brought me five trucks. They're small trucks, but five trucks of red dirt packs really good. It's like clay. So that's pretty leveled off now. Had to prep that for the handy house delivery, but that's looking good. I think with uh, two more trucks, we'll be, uh, we'll be in good shape. So that's the update. It's six o'clock. I'm gonna call it a day. I'm tired. All right, next, tomorrow is day three. That's the beginning of day three. Got the fire lit already. And I'm gonna finish this morning and take it down that big root. Already started clearing some of the cut lumber from yesterday. Loading it up. Gotta take that stump out. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue wasting time cutting these trees. I may just shove them somewhere over there and cut them on another date. Because tomorrow's the last day and it just takes too much time cutting this up. Getting up and down from the tractor. I'm thinking about taking that tree down. Because eventually I'd like the handy house to be able to drive this way turn up in this direction and then back the house up into this spot which is pretty level just got to clear some of those little trees i can leave that big tree there that's pretty healthy and there's a couple here that are dry but i can always tip them back that way so that's the plan put the handy house here plenty of drive area in the front and have the doors open this way so I can have my storage here. So we'll see. That's the plan. That's one of the old trails. So I'd like to have that accessible. And that's the trail that we opened up. So I think that'll work. So we'll see what uh, what gets accomplished today. A little action footage. Okay, so this is end of day three. Fire's still going. Everything is cleared. And this is the cutout right here for the handy house. This is more than enough room, more than wide enough. Just finished cutting that little that tree down. I'll pull that out tomorrow. And then eventually clear a little bit of this. So, just gonna have the deck out here, or whatever. Well, that'll be cool. These three trees can go. These four trees can go. Anyway, all the stumps are gone. Big clearing here now. It's been a lot of work, man, but worth it. Some of the, I just moved all the trunks over there. I got tired of trying to burn them all, but some of them are huge. Another one there, another couple 
hole there. But I got three more loads of uh, dirt today. And so the front is completely graded, smooth, and widened. I'll take a shot from the street. And there's the, the driveway from the street, super wide, leveled off on that side, which is the steepest side. So, pretty good stuff, man. A lot accomplished. I didn't think I was gonna get this much accomplished in three days. And every day that goes by, my expectation for the next day is greater. <clears throat> Tomorrow's the last day. My goal is to just finish doing what I can to set up the handy house and and that's it. All right. See you tomorrow. Okay, so those two trees that were dried up, they came down pretty easy. I was able to knock them down in the right direction. So it was just a hazard getting those. They were so old, dried up, and brittle. So I dropped them here. I'm going to cut a path to get through the trail, but the rest of that stuff can just stay right there. So good. Got rid of that. All I have is. That one there, right there, but I can drop that that way. And then the rest of them that are dried up, they don't really pose a threat. I just didn't want anything falling here where the, uh, where the shed's gonna go. And these I knocked down yesterday. But... <clears throat> Keep going.
Okay, so I'm parked a little bit further back than I used to, but got the truck back here. So I'm parked a little bit further back than I'm used to, but uh, I needed the chainsaw and the oil and everything a little bit closer to where I was working. So moved everything back. So this is what I did today. Knocked down some of those dead trees that were back there. Still gotta clean some of this up a little bit. But I opened this side up because the handy house is gonna be parked right here. And I cleared some trees there and I took the stumps out because eventually I want to do a little deck on the back. So what I'm going to try and do is see if I can get that dead tree over. And one last thing for today would be just clear that stump out and open this area up. This is a nice area because this is the beginning of a trail that goes down this way. So this trail goes down that way and almost turns into a road. So I want to keep this path open, but I can always open up another trail through this side. Let's come from there, this way, and back there, but it'll be behind the deck over here. So I'm going to take some measurements after I take that stump out, put some stakes down and mark where the handy house is going. But yeah, a lot of progress. A lot of progress. Big clearing here. Does not look like the uh, like it did before, that's for sure. All right, that's the update for day four. Going to be a half day today because the weather is not cooperating. It's drizzling back and forth. So for four days, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm happy. Okay, so I'm packing it up. That's it. Day four, three, almost four o'clock. I'm done. So from the front, just to give you a perspective, the front comes down. All this is cleared and I've already taped off where the handy house is gonna go. This is all clear on this side. They got plenty of room to drive back and forth. I cleared the back. So this is 12 by 28. <clears throat> so I figure a door right here in front of the tree and then a little porch in the front to wrap around that tree. Probably give some shade in the summer. Plenty of room around the entire building. And then I cleared the area back here and hopefully do a little a little deck out here with a barbecue figure maybe 12 feet by 10 feet and so got rid of all the dead trees that were in the area creating a threat so <clears throat> that's it come back tomorrow morning load up the tractor and take off so i guess from the from the handy house to the road is probably, I don't know, 400, 400 feet around there, 400, 500 feet, 400 feet. Anyway, all right, that's the update for today. See you guys next time on the next trip. All right, so that's it for this trip. Everything's buttoned up, big difference, big difference. Pretty happy with it. All right, till next time.